Hi, I'm Kelly Anthony with TheAnthonyKitchen.com and I've teamed up with the National Junior Master Gardener Program to bring you a series of fun, kid-friendly, and healthy garden kitchen recipes. Today, we're going to be working with red leaf lettuce, strawberries, and making our very own vinaigrette. It's the red leaf lettuce and strawberry salad. It's easy, it's beautiful, and your kiddos are going to go nuts for all these colors. So the first thing I wanna show you how to do is how to get in there and easily chop that lettuce. Now before I wash the lettuce, I chop the lettuce, and here's how I do it. I leave the core intact, then I'll just take my knife and run it down the center here, and then I'll turn it over on its side and run it down the center once more. So essentially, we've quartered our head of lettuce. Now I'll tightly bunch the ends together and cut little strips, maybe about one inch wide, across the way here. And that's all there is to it, chopped lettuce. I'm just gonna run my red leaf lettuce under some cool running water and get it nice and rinsed, and then I'll be back to show you how I dry it in a jiffy. Now I'll bet that some of you thought I might show back up with a salad spinner, but truth be told, I am way too vigorous when it comes to spinning salad, and I have broken every one that I've ever owned. So, this is my favorite method for drying lettuce. Just lay out a dish towel flat on your work surface, Tump your lettuce right over the dish towel and spread it out. Now, I'll just turn the dish towel and I start rolling. And what this is going to do is this towel is going to absorb the excess water from my lettuce leaves. So my towel is doing the work for me. I'm just gonna set this aside and let's get started on some strawberries. For this salad, we are going to need about one cup of sliced strawberries. I'm gonna cut the strawberry in half, then I'm gonna cut it in quarters and I'll lay it flat side down and just start slicing across here, just like so. So strawberries are a pretty soft fruit and you don't need a really sharp knife to cut them. So cutting the strawberries would be a great task to let those kiddos get in the kitchen and get involved in cooking. So I have about a cup of strawberries all chopped up and ready to go. Let me show you what we're gonna do with our lettuce here. Okay, you'll need a big bowl. Place your towel just right in there and then just start unraveling it, letting the lettuce fall right into the bowl. Now, if your kids aren't big on strawberries, then substitute a berry that they love, whether it be blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, they would all go beautifully in this salad. All that's left is to make the dressing. Now, don't be intimidated by a homemade dressing. You are going to be wowed at how simple this is. This is another step that you really wanna get those kiddos in the kitchen with you and let them get to work. Let them scoop, let them pour, and let them shake. We want about a third of a cup of vegetable oil. If you don't have vegetable oil on hand, you could use canola oil or olive oil. Now I'm just going to transfer my measure of ingredients into an airtight container because we are going to shake like the Dickens once we have all our ingredients in here and we do not want our beautiful vinaigrette flying all over the kitchen. Oil into the container. Next up, the vinegar. Now you can use any vinegar of your liking for this, whether it be balsamic vinegar or red wine vinegar, but if you don't have vinegar on hand, you could also use lemon juice. Now a little honey for some added sweetness, a little mustard, and just a little bit of salt, a little touch of cinnamon. I'm just gonna add a nice light drizzle over our lettuce and strawberries. Grab some tongs and toss that salad. And we are ready to serve. If you'd like to have a printed copy of this recipe to have on hand, go to jmgkids.us backslash garden kitchen. The recipes featured in this series are from the Junior Master Gardener curriculum project called Learn, Grow, Eat, and Go. To find out more about this evidence-based curriculum being used in schools across the country, click on the Learn, Grow, Eat, and Go link on this page. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy your red leaf lettuce and strawberry salad, and I'll see you soon.